Hey, what's up guys, KidIver6 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reset your Xbox One NAT type. Um, I chose to do it on Rainbow Six Siege because it's the game I play the most, and I know where to go to actually look to see if it's a moderate or a strict or open NAT type. Um, so, if you are a Rainbow Six Siege player, I can show you exactly how to go and search for it on here. So, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to hit your start or select button, and it's going to take you to... Um, where it's going to show you your ping, uh, where your the server is that you're connected to. And right here you can see that I have a 42 MS or 42 ping, um, and my NAT type is moderate. Um, with a moderate NAT type, you know, you're going to, you have the possibility of having lag spikes or connecting to other people that have moderate NAT types. Um, but to, for me, the majority of the time, my NAT type is always moderate, and I don't really have that many issues out of it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to Power and Startup in your settings. Um, then you're going to go to Restart Now, and that's going to pretty much refresh, or pretty much when you call IT and they tell you, hey, you turn it off and turn it back on again. Well, this pretty much just shuts your Xbox completely down instead of whenever you hit the home button, and it just... Uh, turns it directly off this restarts all the um not really restarts your settings but refreshes them um and with that please note that if you uh, want to go a step further uh for me this uh works if i just you know select to restart the console it um works perfectly fine but if you want to go a step further you can restart your router but keep in mind, do not go and restart your router by clicking the reset button on your router. What that does is that will actually make your router reset its password and username. Well, not the username. It'll make, it, it'll make it to where you'll have to make a new password for your router. Um, another thing is whenever you do restart your Xbox, like you'll see here, it will um, take a minute for all your games to come back up. And if you have an external hard drive, like I have a Seagate 2 terabyte hard drive, it will take a second for all the for your uh, Seagate to uh, also refresh and reconnect to your Xbox, which you should see here in a couple seconds. But if all goes well um, and your internet connection is pretty good from your router, um, we should go back in and we should be able to go directly to um, check our NAT type and it should be open. Um, if it is not uh, I have had I've had very few cases where the net type is not open for me. Um, you like I said, take it a step further and go and restart your actual router. Keeping in mind, do not hit the reset button on your router. Uh, the best way to do it if you're going to do the router is just to unplug it for about 30 seconds. I know the last time I decided to do that and reset it, I actually left it unplugged for about 10 minutes, which I don't think there's much of a difference between 10 minutes and 30 seconds. So uh, unplug it for 30 seconds, plug it back up, and you should be perfectly fine. Um, and do keep in mind, uh, I did skip the video a little bit ahead, um, just so you guys, uh, at the very beginning, when you do restart your Xbox, it is going to take about two or three minutes for it to actually get you to the home screen. It is going to take a little bit for it to restart itself. And I have noticed that the games themselves, whenever you start them back up, do take a second simple because they are having to refresh and restart as well. Um, so let's go ahead and wait and see and get to the main menu and then we will check our NAT type and hopefully it will be open.
Okay, so the game went ahead and started back up. So like I said, go ahead and hit your starter select button. And right here, 43MS and my NAT type is now open. Um, note that this not changed from any other way that uh, anyone else will tell you how to change it. I know a couple people, they want to know what the IPv4, IPv6 is. Um, I'm not completely sure on what that is. All I know if I've ever had that come up, all I do is go through this setting or this um, restart and it's perfectly back to an open NAT type. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, it was useful and you guys were able to get your NAT type back to open, please make sure to leave a comment down below as well as like the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and thank you guys for watching.